Welcome back guys, you're watching all the beer no idea, I'm Baz. Uh, another beer review now, one that was kindly sent to me from Jonathan from Northern Southerner Beer Reviews. Check the guy out, he's funny, he's good at his beer reviews, uh, top all round nice bloke, but he's a in Southampton fan. So, But apart from that, if you can get past the, past the Southampton thing, he's alright, he's a good bloke. So, me and John done a bit of a beer swap, I sent him some uh, local stuff. Uh, from my area and he kindly done the same thing back so what we've got coming up from old John John is uh, from Wold Top so it's a first for me as well never had anything from Wold Top and it's their Scarborough Fair IPA coming in at 6% 500ml bottle don't know how much it costs around the £3 mark I'm guessing uh, it's red hot outside hopefully this is really going to hit the, hit the mark uh, Certainly there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. So we'll just get on with it. There's the label. Old traditional sort of kind of thing there. And some old chap with his guitar sitting somewhere. Get ready to have a strum. There we go. World top bottle cap. So let's get it out. Make the most of this. I'm going to do this review. And I think I'm going to have a couple of cheeky Goose Island lagers out the perfect draft. Hope you're all well. Let's get the beer in a glass. See what we get. I'm going to guess this is going to be, well, it's going to be more along the traditional IPA lines, and it got to be, surely. I know these are local to John, as I said, or as I believe. Where are they from? So i just give you a bit of that. Da, 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 da. Wold Newton Driffield. No idea. Jorked away, I'm guessing, anyway. <laughs> so there we go. Beer in a glass. Look at that, no real sort of carbonation. And now I'm doing this review and he's just messaged me, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, hardly any carbonation, but just a little bit going up. It's golden in colour, crystal clear, finger of white on top. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. Yeah, very traditional sort of style thing. A light citrus, citrus, lemon, lime. Very sort of light grapefruit in there as well for me. Not an awful lot on the nose. They really are. They're, they're very subtle. A little bit of hoppiness, a little bit of maltiness, but very, very subtle. So without further ado, cheers, John boy. Let's get the rest out of this bottle. Wang it in there. And give it a try. Cheers. Oh yeah, uh, you know I said sort of lemon and lime. You are sort of getting that in there. Oh, that's nice. First impressions. Let's just go in again. Thinnish body, grapefruit bitterness right from the start. Nice gentle mouth feel. Quite soft in the mouth. So that's enjoyable, it's ticking the boxes so far. Gentle bitterness, grapefruit bitterness, well I say gentle. Has got quite a bit of bitterness, but it's not like ooh, ripping your bloody taste buds apart. Grapefruit, grapefruit sort of bitterness in there. For me, definitely getting sort of lemon and lime feel about it. Maybe a little bit floral as well. I'm on the back end right now which after the first mouthful, I was getting the same thing. Getting a lovely breadiness, a little sweet breadiness to it. Very drinkable. Mouth feels lovely. You sort of, some people think, oh, it's, it's, it's flat, but it's not. There's, a, there's just enough carbonation in there and it is just enough. Reminds me, mouth feel, uh, and, and softness of a, a really good German lager sort of thing. 6% uh, ABV, are you getting that? I know whether you're getting it or not, but I'm just going to go in again so I can have some more. Maybe an inkling of it, but only really... Uh, 
Yeah, there is maybe an inkling. I was I was going to say just because of the bitterness, but there is an inkling of that six percent. Has got a little bit of a boozy feel, but at six percent, it's never going to be too boozy, is it? So uh, yeah, a lovely beer, and certainly one I'd happily drink again. Uh, if I was around the area, I'd probably I'd probably pick it up. Uh, not sure where he got it from. Excuse me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess he's probably got it from Trembling Madness. I don't know. But if it was available around here, it's certainly something I'd happily pick up. So, Walltop Scarborough Fair IPA. Like it. It's nice. Decent. Good old traditional sort of IPA. Nice and tasty. Really enjoyable. So, yeah. Give it a go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't uh, forget to subscribe if you want to. Feel free to like and share the video. Comment and all that stuff and what have you. And I'm on... Facebook, all the beer, no idea, and Twitter and Instagram, all the beer, no idea one. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back sometime with another beer review. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you again. Cheers.